Okay, so as we look at this final video, we have a very subtle effect where the action of the gun goes back. And it's kind of cool because uh, it just adds a little bit of a dimension before it kicks out the bullet and uh, everything happens. Now, this is where we might get into a little debate. When doing a visual effects based on something that, you know, may or may not be 100% real, we want to embellish it a bit. We want to we want to make it look interesting. We want it to, uh, you know, take you someplace else. So you have to kind of decide uh, what things you want to do. One, we could have his hand kicking back because in our raw footage, we have Sam and uh, he does lift his hand up. So we could have it kicking back or we could opt to have a little bit of a slide action on the gun. You're trying to sell the effect, so you have to make decisions on uh, what you think is going to be most uh, impressive, what's going to look cool. Okay, so let's go and build our perspective action. So I'm in the render comp here, and here's our 3D scene that we built earlier. I'm going to Alt, double click on it, and here's our footage. Well, I'm going to take our footage, I'm going to choose Layer, Precompose, and I'm going to move all attributes into the new comp. And we'll call this Footage Precomp and choose OK. And then I'm going to go turn it to a 3D layer and go into it. Hit F4, shut off a 3D layer. We want the 3D layer switch to be inside of here, not on the footage. So here's our footage. This is where we want to kind of make our changes and then they'll reflect in this scene and then they'll ultimately reflect in the render scene as well. So we're kind of working in a sequence. So we're at the bottom level here where we have Sammy. In this general area, is where we want to see this gun shooting. Now I'll select our footage and I'm going to hit U. Now here's our time remap. And I'm going to go forward just about here. Right after my keyframe. And I'm going to set a keyframe. And I'm going to move it forward. And then I'm going to right click on it and choose toggle hold keyframe. And what that's going to do is just freeze it at that point in time. So we actually are creating somewhat of a freeze frame. And we also want the footage to blend, so we'll turn on pixel motion. So we click that twice, and then we turn this one on, and it will actually render the pixel motion. Although for now, we're gonna keep it off so that things will go a little quicker. And we'll zoom in here to the last frame, and here is where we want to create our perspective, you know, action. So what we're going to do is take the top of this gun and create a separate layer out of it and animate it individually. And hopefully we'll just uh, create a good illusion of that part of the gun moving back. So first thing we're going to do is duplicate the footage. Control D. Hit U. And we have some keyframes. And I'm going to delete them all except for this one hold keyframe. And this will make this a still frame. And then I'm going to duplicate it one more time. And so then I'm going to take the pen tool on this top layer, and we're going to draw a shape around the main part of the gun. So we'll just uh, draw a shape here. And then we'll draw some circles for the hole here and one more this part and we'll set the bottom mask to subtract and we'll feather them all maybe one pixel and then we'll take this layer so this is our slide and this top piece is going to be our cover and we're going to draw a shape here I'm just taking the pen tool, by the way, and I'll we'll just draw it right around here. And so now we have these two elements. And then I'll duplicate our slide, and I'll hit M. And we'll get rid of the first mask, and we'll switch these to Add. And basically, we've added back in that part of the gun. And we'll name this Barrel. And so now we have that by itself. I'll take our slide and we'll take the pan behind tool and we want to move 
the center anchor point to the back of the gun at the line here. And that way, I'm going to hide the mask for a sec. When we scale it down, it'll almost look like it's going back. And so that's what we're going to do is we're going to hit P and then hold down Shift and hit S. And we're going to set up a couple of keyframes. So keyframe it there. And we'll scale it down just a bit. And we'll move it back a bit. Keep it in line right here also. And we can also make it come forward again by just extending the clips. Alt, begin bracket, go ahead and extend those out. And then copy these keyframes and then paste them so it goes and it comes back. And we can add easy ease curves, F9. So that's good. Now we need to create an obscure mask for the background. So we'll just take our footage and we'll bring it out. And we want to find a shot like this where he's not covering the background up. And then we'll still frame it. Choose time, freeze frame. And we'll put this below everything. And we'll take the pen tool. And now we want to draw this background layer back in. So we'll just draw a shape around this main area here. And uh, depending on how carefully you do this, we can create a decent illusion for our slide here. So I'll probably leave that part in. And so as rough as this uh, animation is, it's actually going to be pretty good, especially since this is going to be going on in front of a really large muzzle flash and a lot of displacement. So the idea is just to create the subtlety of that action moving. Now the other thing we do real quick is if we hit MM, we can extend the edges on this barrel and then get rid of some of that fringe that we see. So we set it to you know 0.5. You can see it gets a little white here, and so we'll, we'll put it to about 1.5. And then we kind of clean that area, and so that uh, just looks a lot better, ultimately. And so now we have that put together, let's go ahead and pre-compose these elements. So I'll just take the layers, hold down Shift, Layer, Pre-Compose, move all attributes to New Comp, we'll call this Slide. Hit OK. And then I'll just trim it to the time where uh, it freezes. Alt begin bracket there. And now we want to go ahead and animate the finger just moving uh, very slightly. So we'll take this background layer and uh, we'll duplicate it again. I'll hit U, delete all these keyframes for the time remap and the back one here. So again, we're just working uh, with a still frame here of the finger. And we're going to mat it out. So we're going to. By the way, when you click a point, you can drag it to a bezier, but you can also move it. If you hold down the space bar, it'll move it. And if you let go of the space bar, then you can go back to adjusting it. So it's pretty cool. And of course, undo, and you can move things back. So I've kind of selected our finger there. And we want to essentially extend the finger and make it a little bit longer so we have the room. And we can do it two ways. Uh, because there's not really a lot of detail in this, we could take the pan behind tool and just put it right about here. And we could essentially scale the finger up and create the illusion that it's pulling the trigger. And because it's such a small effect, I think that's what we'll do. So I'll set a keyframe for the scale. And I'll go ahead and set it back down to 100. I'll unlink it. Set it back to 100. Move forward a little bit and then set it to maybe 110, maybe 120. Then I'll link it back together and I'll also zoom in here and scale down the finger. And 
and basically we want to kind of get the illusion that the finger is squishing down on something and there's just going to be a little bit of resistance there and again this is also going to be behind a lot of things so it just needs to be uh, a nice subtle effect we could keyframe the position here so that it lines up with the animation here take a quick look and I can even feather it again to maybe uh, 1.5 uh, pixels so now we're kind of getting a squishing feeling uh, from the finger of course you know if you can do all this stuff uh, on set you know you don't have to even do the visual effects so okay our slide I want to go ahead and fix uh, Now for our slide, I want to just make one little adjustment. I'm going to alt double click, take our slide and just bring this piece in just a bit. I'm going to close that. Okay, that looks a bit better. And the final thing that we're going to want to do here is just fade in the slide. And two things we need to do. We need to keyframe the position and the opacity. So we'll set a keyframe right at the frozen point and we'll go forward just a couple of frames. I want to make sure that our gun lines up. So we'll move it over. And then we're going to fade it in. So now that we have this done, we'll move on to some fun compositing. And uh, we'll just get some of this workflow stuff out of the way in the next tutorial. Get our footage rendered out and get proxies set up. So I'll see you in a bit.